Hey, what's up? I am your coach, Patrick, and I just wanted to say if you're a new coach or an old coach or maybe somebody that's just trying to learn about Pulse, I'm thankful and grateful that you're taking the time to learn about what we do. So that being said, I wanted to jump right into it and give you an overall overview of what to expect in this presentation. So as you can see in the overview, we're going to understand people and we're going to understand how we are all different but we all are the same. And I'll explain what I mean uh, when I'm saying that. People all have different needs and different wants. Um, I'll be explaining what we actually do here at Pulse. Uh, what do we carry out? What's our mission? What are we doing here? And then also how to carry out what we do um, and how to carry it out with success, okay? So let's move forward and let's jump into it. And so, to move forward and understand like how to best organize, we first have to understand ourselves and people. That people are all wired emotionally. What I like to say here, and this is just a picture that just shows that the brain has a wiring behind it and that the brain has different divisions and functions of those different divisions, okay? And although the brain has multiple different divisions, they all are interconnected via web. There is a web from our like frontal lobe all the way to our limbic system. And our limbic system is called like the emotional portion or part of our brain. All right. It's interconnected though. So meaning that one affects the other. Okay. And one can say that then the emotional brain is involved in every human function that we do. I thought that was pretty that it was pretty uh, outstanding or uh, substantial, uh, impactful. Um, so again, here's the emotional brain. And this is an overall like just a representation of what happens as there is an event. So if you could see on the left hand side, there's an event. Okay, so there's an event that occurs. We feel a certain way. We think about it. Um, it's showing how it you know goes through this web. And then ultimately, there's an appraisal. So an appraisal is basically um, a reflection point, uh, a split second after an event occurs, it says, hey, do I want to send this down one way or the other? And basically, that's like the parasympathetic or the sympathetic um, pathway in your autonomic nervous system. All that I'm trying to say is that people are emotional. And this is how the brain works and that we're all wired the same. Now with emotions, emotions are very important because they drive all human behavior and all, all of our actions, okay? They are what motivate us to do something and they also reinforce why we're doing something, okay? So if we have a positive emotion, you know, would you, wouldn't you say that that would reinforce us to continue that that very thing that we're doing and that maybe it's our emotion that you know drives our actions and drives us to do something to work out so as we can see that we're all emotional and emotions drive all human behavior and are responsible for all human function okay now people are also different we have individual wants and individual needs although we're all wired the same Okay, now let's understand what a want is and what a need is. Okay, a want is nothing more than a personal um, emotion that is behind their desires, their goals. You know, what is the reason why they want what they want? And I say that you can best organize people's wants by saying, you know, look, feel, and perform better. People usually come into a gym, they want to look better, they want to feel better, and they want to perform better. Obviously, there are a lot of different individualized wants, but they all will fall under to one of those three categories. Okay, so those are wants, the emotional wants, the desires. They want to look good, they want to feel good, they want to, they want to perform uh, better. All right, so that's a want. A need is the exact stimuli that person would need to elicit that want. 
I think I go on to say that the exact stimuli required to elicit the desired outcome of a person. It's the mental and physical intervention one would undergo to progress into those inner wants. Okay, so needs, think about the, uh, the physical stimuli. If I want to get stronger, what stimulus would I actually need to elicit um, the strength you know, that I actually want for myself? All right, and so to understand these needs and wants, you know, we really got to dive in and understand uh, people. And to understand people, we understand that we're understanding their emotions. Understanding emotions will help us understand their needs and their wants, okay? So I like to say, put yourself in their shoes always. When we put, if we stop and we just focus on them and not on ourselves and make it about them, it's the best way to uh, bring all your attention onto them, which they need. You need to put your attention into them. And um, getting out of ourselves and focusing on them to ask these questions is the best way to actually understand their wants and needs. And if you understand their wants and needs, then you're really going to connect with them and make things relevant for them. So putting yourself in their shoes, ask these questions. Why are they here? What do they believe and why is this important to them? Do they have a lack of willingness? Do they need proper guidance? Was obtaining good health too difficult for them in the past? Did it require too much discipline? Confusion from misinformation or not enough information maybe? Negative self-talk? Was there fear involved? And what is currently costing them their time and money and their health? This allows you to go into conversations with the perspective that they have. If you go into a conversation, especially the first one, with the perspective that they have, then that is, that, that's a success. You are going into that conversation with the perspective that they already have. These are the questions that will allow you to gain that perspective. Now, don't, you're not asking them in the actual consultation, um, do you lack the willingness? No, no you, that's a different story. And we're gonna get into that in later modules. What I'm saying is that by understanding their needs and wants and emotions, you're trying to understand the perspective that they have going into that conversation. And these are the questions that I would ask myself so, uh, for me to figure out what that perspective is, okay? So people have needs and wants and people also have emotions, okay? So I say people may have different needs and wants, but all people need and want human connection, okay? So we're all, the, we're all different, but we're all the same, okay? Human connection, people need to connect. People want to belong. So, subconsciously, when you think about it, we are all wired together. We are all joined by a common value and belief, okay? The want and the need to connect and belong, okay? It's human connection. Human connection is matching and attaching. That's what creates inspiration. You have to understand somebody and understand what they want and then effectively give them what they need by matching and attaching. Sometimes you might have to reframe that. Sometimes you might have to be realistic. It is um, assessing them and coming forward with that correct ap approach. And the only way to do that is through human connection. They have to know that you understand them. And understanding them is very important. That's only done through connecting with them, through human connection. You know, and that's what we do. We connect with humans. We connect with humans so that we can inspire people. All right? Inspiration is what we do. Okay? We create belief. By believing in them, they will believe in themselves. And we all know belief does everything. If you believe you can do something, you're going to do it. I'm a strong believer in that myself, and I stand by that. 
Okay, so we got all this information. All good, right? Well, I like to say this. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> so what's the problem? The problem is, is that people's needs and wants often conflict. Okay, that's the problem. So how do we fix this problem? How do we provide a winning solution? Okay, we match their needs and attach their wants. Okay, people will have to go through challenges, mental or physical. And then people are going to want to have to do it. So we, they have to attach it with their emotions. We have to create those emotions. You know, broken down those three categories of look, uh, feel, and perform. Okay? So matching and attaching. What, how do we get them to understand that the challenges, mental and physical, are going to elicit what they really want? And do we have to make a realistic plan based upon what they're saying uh, and telling us? So we bridge this gap okay with the problem the problem is that people's wants and often conflict with their needs okay and we bridge that gap through a pri applying the the proper uh, pulse approach or applying just the pulse approach the pulse approach is matching and attaching that's going to give us the solution okay and i'll get further into that okay so yeah we've gone over people that our wants and our needs are different sometimes we want something um, that maybe we're not prepared to do what's needed, you know, and that all people have different wants and different needs. So when you think about it, people are really complex. But solving their problems doesn't need to be, okay? Again, when we think about it, people are unique and in their own sense. And I say, however, our problems aren't. We are all wired the same, going back to that need of human connection, the emotional brain, okay? So understanding people, they have wants and needs, okay? They're all unique to them, um, but we can simplify them with look, feel, and perform. Um, and we also understand that people are all universally wired the same, okay? So since we know this about people, this allows us to apply the approach. Okay, and reverse engineering is the best way to approach a person and, with where they want to go. It's knowing what the intent is of, of each session or any program that you're building and how to plan out ahead of time how to get there. That's what reverse engineering is. You understand the vision and what are the action steps to get to that uh, vision. So I go on to say and explain that the pulse approach is reverse engineering, okay? As coaches, we understand we're going to encounter frequent self-constraints and common physical limitations while working with individuals. So that makes it challenging to deliver the exact stimulus or needs that yield the, the desired results or wants of the member. Okay, by thinking ahead and utilizing a reverse engineering approach, coaches can avoid common pitfalls and deliver an effective dose. Okay, so this is what reverse engineering is. Okay, steps to get there. Okay, so I mentioned an effective dose. What is an effective dose? I think of like a very potent drug, all right? You know, um, an effective dose is a well-conducted session or program, all right? It's the delivery of the most potent and optimal stimuli possible, which is all obviously dependent on that person, okay? So how do we deliver an effective dose? Deliver an effective dose. Our aim for each member is to provide the most effective and efficient methods of achieving optimal health and wellness. There are a lot of variables, you know, when it comes to people, and there and a lot of variables to consider. And therefore, and although things will never be perfect, we do strive for optimal. Okay, uh, we deliver the most bang for their buck and conduct 
effective uh, sessions, okay? We're conducting sessions effectively. We don't waste time and conduct each session with efficiency. We're conducting sessions with efficiency, with effectiveness, and we are going after what's optimal, okay? So how do we provide that effective dose? By doing what's optimal, making sure that session's effective and efficient, and understanding what the intent is. Because when you understand when the, what the intent is of that session, then you know how to carry it out. So that's that reverse engineering. You have to understand what the intent is to get to that vision. And so that how do we navigate all those variables and deliver the, the best methods to accomplish this effective dose, okay? We just use that pulse approach, guys. So I say a pulse approach creates an effective dose. So let me summarize it up for you guys, okay? So the pulse approach is nothing more than a winning strategy for coaches, okay? This strategy will be the foundation of how to approach and conduct personalized PT and nutrition sessions. It will allow you to build programs. It will also give you the ability to construct and deliver group classes, okay? Now, how we do that? We successfully match and attach. We take their needs and wants, and we understand them and provide inspiration, making the wants relevant to the needs, okay? And in order to do that, we need to reverse engineer to give us an intent for each session or each program. We need to understand what the end vision is. And where the end vision, it, end vision is, once we understand the vision, we reverse engineer step by step by step by step how to get there. I go on to say that the reverse plan out the steps of the person to get to their vision. What is realistic with their wants? What does the member need to elicit with the proper desired outcome? What is that person gonna actually need to get to that desired outcome, okay? So inspiration is possible through human connection. By connecting, you can package up what a person wants with what they need. After that, you can reverse engineer the plan after you understand where they're going and what they're willing to do to get there. You are now armed to deliver one heavy, effective dose, okay? Guys, all this is done through belief. That's all that it takes, it's that simple. Believe in them and they will believe in themselves. Guys, this is it. This is what Pulse is. Ignite an energy inside of them. That is the pulse. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys do that. Through this presentation, we talked about people. We talked about how all people are very unique, but how we're all the same. By understanding this and by understanding them, we can inspire them by connecting with them. We're gonna establish what they want with what they need through that human connection. Through that human connection, that will allow us to reverse engineer and plan out how to get them there and how to make it relevant for them to get there and frame the proper vision. And then after all of that's framed, we will then provide an effective dose. What is the most optimal intervention that person can get when they walk in the door that is only gonna end with a success? That's Pulse. Create that energy within. I believe in you guys, go get them.